Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, seismicity, solar climate forcing to follow up last night's special video, and perspective derived therefrom. But we'll begin with the last 24 hours on our star, and the departing coronal hole is what's responsible for the geomagnetic activity we've been having. The sunspots have been quiet and flaring is low, but the solar wind remains elevated due to that coronal hole. Fastest coronal hole solar wind of the sunspot cycle so far drove lasting geomagnetic storms throughout the day and into this morning. On the one hour KP index charts, we see it did briefly climb above that KP6 mark a few times, including one KP7 event, but we managed to evade the larger and technologically dangerous conditions. While the sunspots are quiet, my eyes are firmly set on this plasma filament today. Could produce a sizable CME if it erupts. Let's move on to seismicity where we had two larger events the last day, a 6.6 .6 in China, luckily striking a fairly unpopulated mountainous region, and we had another six-pointer strike the Pacific rise west of South America. Worth noting that those often precede bigger quakes at that coastline, and that fault is well overdue. Last night, we did another rapid-fire info crammed short video on solar climate forcing by particle flux and how it has been underestimated. Today, we have an excellent paper on the flux rise over longer periods, notably the last century, including the grand solar maximum, and find a significant increase of 67% that dwarfs the solar changes used in climate models, which is only 0.1% of irradiance. As we have repeatedly covered, this ignored aspect in climate models is the best explanation for warming of the last hundred years, especially given the multi-decade heat lag from input to the oceans. So let's get some reminders about the flux increase in several ways from the official data that is supposed to be used in newer climate models, but still isn't. We'll begin with the radiance, which is heavily confined to the narrowly varying band. Top chart a 0.1% increase over the period of global warming. But in the other wavelengths, we find there is significantly higher amounts of change with 200 to 300% increases during that period of global warming. All put together, it represents a phenomenal increase in solar irradiance that is way beyond what the sun gets credit for, again in those same climate models. Furthermore, the galactic cosmic rays which produce cloud nucleation and cool the earth were much higher during the before warming period and have been much lower of late. Geomagnetic activity rose by a considerable margin during the latter 1900s, which includes that particle flux and induced current, and the triple joule heating we investigated in the video last night. By the way, the recent grand solar maximum is indeed the highest activity seen for thousands of years, for most of the Holocene actually. All in all, the takeaway is that solar modulation potential has been much higher during the period of global warming much higher than the 0.1% increase it gets credit for in the models. Taking a bigger picture approach, we have been looking at how the changing Earth is heading towards an oceanic shutdown and cooling event on the horizon. Those who have our latest book are aware of the heat transport shutdown in the ocean and the cold climate bomb, as Yale called it, waiting in the Beaufort gyre. Indeed, its stabilized state of holding the cold freshwater melt inside of it is ready to shift. There have been only the most minor releases during the last two decades, but that is about to change. All the disruptive ingredients are there and growing, and when it releases, it will deal the final blow to the overturning circulation changes and begin the cooling event as Earth's temperature safety mechanism kicks into gear. Good review of the circumstances here this morning. Eyes on that plasma filament on the sun. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.